Nano Banana Pro! This has the potential to be the most important model of 2025. Gemini 3 Pro Image just launched aka Nano Banana 2, amazing upgrade to the best image model on the market for commercial and design use, no questions asked. I'm gonna cut straight to the point. I've identified four major changes slash upgrades for this model that make a huge difference in terms of creating a service that you can charge money for. Number one, you can see on this image right here, and it is realism. I gave it an extremely simple prompt right here, as you could read, and this is the result. And as you can see, it looks like a real photo that was taken in person. The correct skin tones, they look identical to the celebrities they're supposed to be. And the setting is also very realistic. So if you see an image online, I think this is a turning point where you will have no idea if it's AI or real. Now let's go into the second major upgrade. As you can see here, it says AI Summit 2024, but let's just say we don't want that and we want 2025. Over the last few years, image models have done a terrible job of isolating text and doing it properly. But we just give it one simple prompt and boom, everything is the same. We got the year 2025 with the most simple prompt ever. And later in the video, I'm gonna go into some more complicated results, but the reality is, text and text design is very, very good on Nano Banana Pro. And if you have a business and you wanna make more money or you wanna create marketing services for other people, I highly recommend My School Community it has all the greatest resources, live streams, and Nano Banana Pro is gonna make a huge difference in your ultimate product. If you're interested, you can sign up with the link in the description, more at the end of the video. And to show you another example of this, we have a product bundle from AG1. As you can see, we have the package here, the bottle, little packages, and then this little thing right there. I gave it as a reference to Nano Banana. You can see my prompt right here, pretty simple. And then boom, it changed it from AG1 to AP1. And this was really just a test to see how well it did it. It did it perfectly over here. It did it perfectly over here. It did it perfectly over here. And it did it perfectly over here. So. This model is killer. Okay, now let's hop into my spaces on Freepik. By the way, you can already use this new model just about everywhere. Google recommends Gemini or AI Studio, but for what we're doing, Freepik is a really good solution. And that's gonna get into the number three biggest change, and this one is actually a huge deal. And as you can see right here, it's the resolution. You could do 1K, 2K, and 4K. And given where you run this model, it could cost you as much as 25 cents per image, but the 4K output is crazy. And if you're shipping design work or product work for ads, 4K is pretty much a must, and this is a huge, huge change. Potentially the biggest change on this model, and honestly, I love it. Now let's go over the spaces from my last video. We had this product, a rose bear right here. We had this model, an image from Mid Journey. And then now we're gonna be using Nano Banana Pro on the left and compare it to the regular Nano Banana on the right. So as you can see, this image looks a lot more realistic in my opinion. The realism is really showing. Not a biggest fan of this type of car, but you can always change a lot of that in the prompt. Here, Nano Banana, it did a good job. One, it's lower resolution. Two, I don't think like the face and everything looks as real. Let's scroll down. We have the same product with a different model. As you can see, like this, I would honestly be unsure if someone took an actual photo or not. This is the old Nano Banana model, by the way. Same on all three of these. The right size here, this is the old one. You can see it's decent, but it really just looks like it kind of like hovered the product over here. Here, it looks like it's actually in the woman's hands a lot better. And if you look at it compared to the model, I feel like you could see more of the details of the model in the pro version versus the regular. So, so these are just three comparisons between the two. Keep in mind, the more you render and the more you change the prompt, could have a huge difference, but these are just some of the small differences you see when you quickly render them. And while editing this video, one thing I notice is when I'm viewing this on a large screen, there's a lot bigger difference than when it's somewhat smaller and it may not be picked up perfectly in the recording. But here's one more example. We gave it a prompt from our last video. This is the pro version versus the regular version. The realism is a little bit better here. Compare this exact prompt to Mid Journey. The artistic style that Mid Journey has is still pretty good and maybe superior, 
But currently, Midjourney really struggles when it comes to the character consistency, putting products in, text, all the other stuff that we've been describing. Then the fourth major change when it comes to this model is the logic. When it does an image, it honestly does stuff like Google searches and logic in the background. You can see this example right here. It does a really good job of making it look like someone drew this with an actual pen and it can storyboard an entire thing based on just this one photo right there. So clearly there's a lot more going on in the background when it comes to the logic. So you, so you don't have to steer it as much with your prompts. So now I want to go a little bit into thumbnail design. I have this from my last project and I updated it with Nano Banana Pro. You can see this first image here. It's honestly my avatar that I've been using for a while. It's not super realistic because it was made on an old AI model. And on the right, you can see the first Nano Banana result, which honestly looks pretty good. You got the Gemini 3 correct here and everything. And the aesthetic is not bad. But when we go to Nano Banana Pro, you can see it just looks so much more realistic. Like this looks like an actual photo that was taken. This just kind of looks like the design. And with the prompt, you can change it to make it so the Pro version looks more illustrated. But by default, it just looks so realistic. The only flaw I really see here is kind of the headphones going through. But it did a great job of doing the Apple headphones in general. And if you look at it, it looks like it generated a more realistic version of me than the actual source photo. So that's pretty crazy. Okay, so now let's go into another step of the thumbnail. This is the image I had before. And on the top, I tried to get a tiger to be put into the image. And when I did this with the old Nano Banana, as you can see here, it just doesn't look great. Like the tiger's just behind, like the framing really doesn't make sense for this and it looks a little bit awkward. And then scroll down to the Nano Banana Pro. Not only do I think the expression is a little bit better, but the lion is clearly in a much better position for this thumbnail and it did a better job. Now let's go to the final thing I was playing around with. We have the more realistic thumbnail right here. I added in the tiger and as you can see, it, it honestly looks like super realistic. I mean, maybe the tiger would be doing more of like a growl or something in here, but like with the animals in the background, like it's a world of a difference compared to the more illustrated style version that the regular Nano Banana was doing. And then boom, we add in this icon right here and it did a really good job of identifying the blank space right here and then putting the text uh, correctly over there. I'm gonna be doing a bit more when it comes to this later in the video, but as you can see, it's just like, these are all first tries by the way, or maybe I rendered them one more time, but these are not cherry picked, they're just really good results. Now, here's a good example. I took this Liquid Death Cola, which is a very good product because of how hard it is to replicate both this icon here and the text, and I gave it this prompt that you can read really quickly here if you want, and this is the result. The only downside I think is the can is a little bit too big, but everything is so realistic. The person, the skateboarding, you know, just the lighting on the can, the fact that it's dripping out, like everything is so incredibly good with this. And to show you, let's just make some modification to the prompt and see how well it does. Okay, I created a more specific prompt. It's more in line with the brand. Let's just run this right now and see how well it does. Okay, and here are the results. There's a lot of stuff that's so good with it. I think the text is really great, and you can see that the person is above the text, so they did a little bit of layering in there. The dropping of the liquid just looks so good in this. The can is still just a little bit too tall, and that's a kind of annoying. You can see like the blood is on the guy's hand. Not exactly what I wanted, but it does kind of fit the theme. You can see the chains, the more punk-like person that I described there. And then as you can see in the bottom right here, the rail is above the board. So that's a little bit of a mistake, but ultimately the fact that you can do all the design stuff in a one shot take where I think if you generated four or five of these, you could fix some of the major inconsistencies down there is just wild because this is the type of stuff that you really need to go and manually edit before. And it's just such a huge change. And here's a super fun example. You have just a picture of a dog bagel that my girlfriend sent me and boom, you could see, I just gave it a simple prompt and the dog's consistency looks great. She's on a laptop and it looks like a PowerPoint presentation with bones, with pictures of bones and little bones on the little table and the table just, everything matches perfectly. And this was a very good one shot result and way better than anything that I was able to send her in the past. 
And over here you can see I gave it a new prompt with this image right here. So everything was good except for that skateboard, for example. So we just want to fix that. We take the same image, we keep on rendering with this, and we finally get a good position where it looks realistic. Now this could be shipped as a great ad on Instagram. People would absolutely love it and the brand would definitely pay for it. Now is the time to take advantage of this and make AI creative ads as both images and videos from those images. You can learn everything in my school community. This is the final warning for the $25 a month price or half off if you do annual. The price is going up as we add the last few modules to the lessons. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later. Seriously, I whipped this up in a few seconds. There are already members in my community making thousands and tens of thousands a month shipping creatives just like this.